back to the channel. This video is for Pisces, the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is your weekly reading. I'm Stasia Bliss, Life Force Oracle, here with you to read some energies of the cosmos, see what's going on in Pisces' realm. So wherever Pisces is falling for you, if that's your sun, if that's your rising sign, if that's your moon, maybe it's your Venus, maybe your nodes, maybe your north node is there. As we're recording this, and of course this is a timeless reading, so whenever you find this, there will be something here for you, okay? So my advice, suggestion, guidance is to have a question in your heart as we begin the reading. So why are you here? What do you want to know? And try not to make them yes and no questions because that's not really how these cards and these messages work. So rather than, is he going to call me? Are they going to do this? Will I get this job? Am I going to have a baby? Like a lot, a lot of us have these questions. Um, reframing them to something like, what is blocking me from such and such or what do I need to do in order to prepare myself to receive such and such or you know what is surrounding this situation I need to be aware of so this sort of languaging can help you get the message that you're here to get and I do believe if you are here then there is a message for you so let's begin with clearing the energy I've got a little background fantasy music I hope you like it Releasing any of the previous readings and calling on guidance, source, great spirit, mother, father, God, infinite, divine love to watch over this reading and help the Pisces to understand the messages that are coming through. So it is a unique moment that I'm recording this. I said this is timeless, but also I'm recording this at the evening of a new moon solar eclipse in Libra on the south node. We are just the other side of the fall equinox in the north. And so this night is particularly potent. So the messages here are probably going to be like, whoo. And Pisces, I apologize that this video is getting out later than normal if you have been waiting for it because I had a whole phone thing. I had to get a new phone today. So there is like a renewal energy. So that's great. Let's burn a little bit of this temple incense. It's getting very small. All right, Pisces, you rule the 12th house of our collective zodiac. Spiritual house, water sign, deep, spiritual, Neptune in your house of the, of the last degree. There is some energy about dissolving. Let's look at what are the rooms, what are the energetic architecture for Pisces during this week? So this is for a week-long reading. Okay, we get two really nice rooms, Pisces. We get a gift, Gabo, and Solilo, the victory or the success, the confidence, the empowerment. So this is quite a blessed time for you, Pisces, it seems, don't you know? Got a little Irish blood in me, pulling it up now. So with that, let's pull from some of these tarot cards and find out the story for the week of for Pisces. We have three of bows fulfillment and the shaman, who is the magician in this deck. So three of bows, bows in this deck of the wands. So there is like a new journey that you're beginning to walk along. Fulfillment though, we're feeling like that third chakra energy. Look, we even have the life force Kundalini moving up. And they say if you get to the third chakra, Kundalini, then it does not fall down again. So if you purified the previous two centers, that life force just keeps moving upward. And of course, with the shaman, this is the magician card in the traditional tarot, but there is this shamanic energy in your sign, right? Neptune, Pisces, like the between worlds 
being able to navigate between this world and that. Let's get the story a little bit more filled out, Pisces. What's going on here? Let's get, let's get like six cards or something about this week. Take those two, this one. What else? Let's get one more. All righty. Nine of Stones is Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Arrows is your Ace of Swords, Knight of Bows is your Knight of Wands, and the Hooded Man would be the Hermit. So the Knight of Stones is Knight of Pentacles. This card calls it Tradition. Normally the Knight of Pentacles is a manifestation card. Like you've manifested, you've done it. Tradition speaks to, it's like you are manifesting an empowering gift right now, Pisces. It is coming through some of your heritage. And there's, it's breathing a new breath of life into you. Remember, these things are not set in stone. They are opportunity energies for you should you choose to align with them, right? <clears throat> Knight of Bows is the fox. In this reading, fox can be a bit sly and sneaky. Knights are quick-moving energies. Um can be romantic, they can be passionate, especially being in, of the suit of bows, which is wands, which is your life force. We have the hermit card or the hooded man that can speak to internal reflection, wisdom within um, the teacher archetype, may have some wisdoms to share. I feel like let's get two more here to get the story a little more fleshed out spirit. Can we get a little bit more on this for our Pisces for this week? Okay, ten of bows. We'll take the bottom card too, which is the star card. And all right, so let's see what we got here. Star is your destiny. So you are on a journey toward your destiny. You may have to be reminded not to lose hope that that journey is still on. Many stops along the way I'm seeing Pisces, but because you have the gift in Sowilo, I feel like you are reaching this place. You are getting closer maybe than you've ever been. You are receiving some clarity and completing a long, arduous journey. You have learned much. And I don't think you've lost your passion for living based on this. In fact, it has deepened you and grounded you in order to receive this empowerment. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards with a different deck. Why is this Three of Wands fulfillment here? Four of Wands. This is all about house and home and milestones. This does feel like a milestone week for you. Why is the shaman here? Seven of cups, but in the reverse, you're making choices based on intuition now. You've tuned into that. You've come into contact with that. Why is nine of stones here? Nine of cups. There's some wish fulfillment going on. It's that gift energy. Some of you might be uh, expecting or finding out that you are going to have a baby. Why is Ace of Arrows here? The Hierophant. Hierophant is some kind of a structure, usually like a church or some kind of a, you know, holy order of some kind. It's the mate of the high priestess. It can mean marriage. Um, why is the Knight of Bows here? The High Priestess. 
That is a partnership. So for some of you, you're coming into divine union because you've been on this journey. Maybe there's a child also in that. Let's see, why is the hooded man or the hermit here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been on this for a while, this journey for a while. You've learned much. Why is Ten of Bows here? Why is Ten of Bows here for Pisces? Holy moly moly. All right. Well, Ten of Bows is the Ten of Wands, and it's the weight of responsibility that you have been carrying. I'm going to take these all into consideration here since it is a 10, so it could be a lot of things. Eight of Wands, slow moving. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, especially with the Divine. Reverse Five of Wands, internal conflict. Reverse Two of Wands, a vision not yet spoken. Three of Swords, heartbreak. Nine of Pentacles, that manifestation energy again. So this ties us back into... Um, the card above, which is Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you've been working toward this for a while. There's been some heartbreak, conflict. It's been slow going. I can't help but think of Princess Bride. Slow going? I don't suppose you could have speed things up. Um, yeah, there's been some definite heartaches and conflicts and you know, slow energy, but you are reaching the manifestation. This is reminding you, you've been through so much. All those sticks on your back are actually now tools that you possess, Pisces. There are tools you possess that this guy's walking and he's carrying all these sticks. But, you know, when he gets up here, he's going to be able to do something with the sticks. He's going to be able to build something. Same with you. You are manifesting your destiny following your North Star. Let's get, why is the Star card here? Reverse Four of Swords. Yeah, you're coming out of a time of, you know, withdrawal. You're actually coming forward now. You're starting to move forward with these wisdoms um, that you have been gaining. And this is milestone week for you. This eclipse is bringing big, uh, integration for you is how it feels. Uh, let's get some herbal astrology for Pisces. Can we summarize this energy for Pisces? What is needing to be known? Yarrow, harmony. That is Venetian. And it does speak about the I Ching, since the I Ching is originally using yarrow sticks. So we'll go ahead and go to the I Ching for you um, and look at what the change of energy is here for Pisces. So what is the energy of change? Where are they and where are they going? That's too many. Let's go with two or three, Spirit, please. 55 and 34. And if needs be, that one. Okay. Three did come out before, so we'll possibly check that out. 55 is abundance, period of success. Okay, it's a brief period of success. It's like a lightning flash. It's like bursting on the scene kind of success. Lightning and thunder, lightning above, thunder below. Or no, thunder above and fire below, which makes lightning. So this is fire. Then you have the change from that brief striking of abundance to the power of the great. Okay, this is respecting the established order, thunder above and heaven below. Top three are thunder, bottom three are heaven. Let's see what number three is. That one flipped over at the end. That one is difficulty at the beginning, the storm relieving tension, water above, thunder below. This is about gaining new clarity after a storm. So there is some flow of abundance and what to do with that energy and some relief of tension. And that does kind of fill, I know these are cards of change, but for you Pisces, it kind of feels like 
almost like simultaneous energy, like this flash of abundance, because you're getting these manifestation cards, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, manifestation. 34, I mean, we do have the authority figures here. Taming power of the great is like knowing what to do with this energy. Maybe the wrong person would, you know, be like uh, to the populace, you know, doing something maybe not best for everybody, but with the right wisdom, you can use that energy to, you know, tame your reality, so to speak, or, or manifest properly what you would like. And then three, this release from the storm. So the built up tension gets to find release. Okay. And that is part of the milestone. Finally, like some harmony is being restored to your world. It feels like Pisces. Let's get in a yoga card as far as how to best embody or work with this energy this week, Pisces. How best can Pisces work with this energy spirit? How best? How best? I love when you make me go under the table. Oh, oh, the heart chakra. So remaining in the heart, Pisces, remaining in the heart, maybe doing some heart breathing, like heart math, where you breathe into the heart as if you have a mouth right here and you're breathing in and you're imagining something or someone that you appreciate very much and you're breathing them into your heart. This is part of heart math that brings coherence to your brain waves and heart waves. You breathe that appreciation that begins to bring heart and brain waves into coherence. And then if you touch anyone else in that coherent state, you actually pass it along. It's been proved by heart math Greg Braden is one of the founders of HeartMath. You can look that up, heartmath.org. Um, very beautiful. You can also do some mantra, like yam is the seed mantra for the heart chakra. And the color green is very blessed. I do feel like you're moving into a very blessed time. I mean, you're moving toward your destiny. Like you fulfilled this old role this is a turning point. And I mean, with both of these, these are the two like spiritual, this is the spiritual partnership in the deck. So for some of you, you are finding that. And that is awesome. Your heart is in the right place. You've made a milestone. There could be marriage, there could be babies, but there's definitely love and you have access to the inner shaman. So keep that harmony, keep that balance. If you don't feel like that's you, start working with the heart energy, but you know what? It's being offered. So it's like position yourself to receive. Okay, much love to you. If you would like to take this into a more personal context, please reach out. I love to do personal readings. They're lots of fun. They're always done by donation. We can do them anywhere in the world on Zoom or text app. So let me know. And make sure you check out all the other content on this channel, you guys. I don't just do readings. This is just something I decided to start doing since I do them for individuals anyway. And um, otherwise, much love to you. Blessings. See you next time. Namaste.